have you Wednesday evening, guys. Pepsters, what's up, mga badidap? Andito naman ako for another episode of Pep Live Action. My name is Nico Tuazon and I will be your host this evening. Alam ko, maganda na yung mga gabi natin, pero pagagandahin ko pa yan dahil isang magandang dilag ang ating kasama tonight. Nakita niya naman sa title card natin. Please welcome Asia's Next Top Model Cycle 5 winner and Miss Universe Philippines 2021 candidate Maureen Robowitz. Hello. Hi. Ayan, say hi to our viewers, Buddha Maureen. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Ayan. So before we start, guys, live tayo ngayon on YouTube, Facebook, and kung if you have questions for Maureen, lagay nyo lang sa ating uh, chat box comment section down below, and I will be asking those questions for you. Ha, okay. And don't forget to share our live stream then, guys. I-share nyo na yan sa mga fans. Hello, mga fans si Maureen. <laughs> Share nyo na. Okay, let's do this. Let's start with, first, congratulations, Maureen, on making it to the top 50. Konti na lang, top 30 na. Halfway there. Uh. <laughs> Malapit na. And it's almost September kung kailan mag-start ang, ang actual uh, competition ng Miss Universe pageant. So how do you feel this Uh, these days i've been feeling very excited surprisingly i thought that before i started this journey i would feel extremely nervous but it's the exact opposite well i am nervous too but i'm more excited than nervous it's so close it's in a in a month already yeah oh, nga. malapit lapit na guys so tutok lang, support lang sa mga favorite candidates nyo na pwede nyo iboto sa MUPH app for the top 30 ongoing yan ngayon, di ba Maureen? Yes, actually, um, what is going on right now is that you can save three of the girls and those girls will make it to the top 30, but For the rest of the challenges, there are judges this time round. <laughs> so we really need to prove ourselves. So top three candidates lang pala na makakuha ng highest online votes ang makaka-automatic yeah. mapapasok sa top 30. Ayan, at least na dino ngayon kasi akala na mga tao na parang everyone, parang voting lang ang magaganap. No. no. Uh, well, you have one free vote, but then you have to pay for the rest of the votes. Ayan. So, to, tuloy lang ang support, guys. So, eto na nga. Balikan na nga natin. Simula natin sa simula. Ba- bakit ka nga ba? What made you decide to join Miss Universe Philippines this time around, Maureen? I just felt like this time was my time. Very strangely, I... Received a lot of signs, and this time around, I trusted my intuition. I have felt like my intuition has been stronger than ever. Last year, I did not listen to my intuition. I had this intuition that I just said intuition so many times, <laughs> but I felt that there was something that happened, and I felt that I was going to regret it. And I remember telling myself before it happened, I said, "I'm going to regret this." That was my intuition. And after that, I got COVID. <laughs> I got mm. infected with COVID-19. So since then, I said, whenever I have that gut feeling of mine not to do something, I'm not going to do it. And this time I had that gut feeling of having to do this. I just, I was convinced by Sir HB. He was in my uh, acting workshop class and he really convinced me to join this year. And I had this feeling that I just needed to listen to my gut feeling. And so I did, even though I did not feel ready, even though I knew that this was a time that you have the least preparation time. But something told me that this time or this year is my year. You men- you previously mentioned in other interviews Now you were looking for a sign. What, what, what was that sign? Well, I actually have received a lot of signs. I can talk about the first sign, but I don't really want to go into the other signs because they're private. <laughs> they're private between me and my manager and hmm. um, my boyfriend knows them too, but I don't really want to expand on those. Uh, but the first, uh, well, the first sign was my intuition. The second one, I really asked for an obvious sign. I said, this can't be it, right? <laughs> so I said, God, universe, please give me another sign. And what happened was I was on YouTube and there was this tarot reading. 
And it was just so positive. And this, I was subscribed to this YouTuber and I hadn't seen her videos in really long. And out of nowhere, it was on my recommended. And so I watched it and it was so positive and I could relate to it. And I knew that it was my sign. I remember I started crying. I said, oh my gosh, it's my time. <laughs> but So that was my, the sign that after that, I said, okay, I have to do this. Ayun na. Uh, actually, naniniwala din ako sa mga signs. Minsan may magic eight ball akong tinatanong din for signs. Eh. Gusto yeah. mo yun? Nag-share. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I, I, I don't. I mean, I look at numbers. Um, I look at the time. And there are angel numbers. And so I'm really into that. I've been, ever since the pandemic, been very spiritual. <laughs> so that's why I guess um, my gut feeling has been stronger than ever. So, naniniwala ka rin dun sa mga parang uh, zodiac signs, horoscopes. Yes, actually. <laughs> moon signs, moon rising. Yes, yes. So, it's funny because sometimes I can guess someone by, as in, I see their attitude or their, beha- their behavior and I'm like, oh, that's a sad or something. <laughs> and sometimes, or a lot of times, I'm actually right. <laughs> through actually medyo naniniwala din ako. Gusto mo yung sharing na naman ako. Anyway, so <laughs> going back. Pero through the years Maureen, parang people have seen you parang uh, step out of your comfort zone. So when you started hosting Quick Bulaga, when you joined Asia's Next Top Model, pero saan ka nagdo-draw ng courage to parang to do these uh, things? Well, one thing I keep reminding myself is that I need to get out of my comfort zone in order to grow. So the moment that I feel comfortable, I'm like, oh, I need to do something. As I don't want to because I love feeling comfortable. I love being in my comfort zone, but it's not good for a very long time. And so I need to do all these crazy things just to get out of my comfort zone and in order to grow. And I mean, life is all about learning. Life is all about growing. And I want to do as much as I can as I have all these opportunities. Uh, <laughs> and this is your top model journey. Mamaya ko ikaw ko itatanong yan, no? Pero I'd like to ask, siguro, uh, since you, you've been considered a front runner naman sa, sa MU Miss Universe Philippines, how do you handle the pressure na parang since meron ka ng malaking fan base? Actually, I try to not feel pressured. I still, even though I am apparently a front runner here, (laughs) I don't like to feel pressured by that. I just really want to focus on my journey. And this is a journey of me. This is my journey. And this is the time that I'm really embracing who I am. And the moment that I do feel pressured, I'm going to get lost and I wouldn't do it for the right reasons. And... Another thing is, even though I'm a front runner, that doesn't mean anything because I still need to prove myself and I'm totally new to this pageant scene. And so, yeah, it's all about it's all about that. I don't want to think about it. That's why I really don't read any comments online, I, regardless if they're positive or negative. Since medyo marami ka ng following before you joined MEPH, Feeling mo ba mas maraming advantage kesa sa disadvantage yung meron ka ng strong uh, uh, followers? Well, of course it's an advantage because there's fan votes, but it's not fan vote um, alone. And having a following, you are pressured even more, I guess, to prove yourself that you deserve the hype. That it is not just because of your fan base, but because of your efforts and your focus. And so it, it's both that it, it, it's an advantage, but there are disadvantages that come along. True. Okay, guys. Pasensya na nagsistutter ako. Medyo na sa starstruck pa ako ng very, very light game. Or yun, ano. What? You saw me Pero... how many years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga. I saw... Let's go. We go way back. We go way back talaga. Way back. <laughs> 20, 2017, I was there when nung nanalo siya sa Miss Universe. Ay, Miss Universe. Miss Universe, yung nasabi ko. Oh, Asia's you're claiming next... it <laughs> Oo, di ba? Claiming it na. Asia's next top model. Dito ginawa yung grand finals noon, di ba? Pia was... Pia Wurzbach was also yeah, there. Was pero there. That... 
And speaking of Pia and Beauty Queens, meron ka bang idol na Beauty Queen? Yes, si Pia Huerta. <laughs> well, she, um, she, of course, she was a judge in Asia's Next Top Model, and I love her journey. She's really inspiring and also half German. <laughs> But also, uh, Gloria Diaz, I love how she answers her questions, super witty. And mm. she's actually approached me um, when, uh, when was that? 2017 as well. And she started a conversation. And I did not really know about pageants at the time, so only knew her as an actress. And then my manager was like, oh my gosh, she's, you know, Miss first ever Miss Universe winner. And I was like, what? <laughs> But um, that was um, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Parang eto na, eto na pa. Yun na yung mga signs sa parang dapat dito ka talaga magpajan ka talaga girl. Gusto mo yun? <laughs> <laughs> Pero how was your ano meeting with Pia? Ano si experience mo nung uh, Asia's Next Top Model with Pia as a judge? Well, she was actually quite busy, but then we received a lot of sweet messages from Pia, and. Yeah, she was she was really nice, nice, very approachable. I didn't really have a conversation with her yet because she's super busy, but yeah, she was really kind. And malay mo di ba mag-message for Lisha since under Aces and Queens din siya nag di ba? Yes, I actually saw her message from back then and she said, Queen. <laughs> that was back then when I had won Asia's Next Top Model. She calls me a queen. The queen called me a queen. Oh, baka mag-time so yun for a Miss Universe Philippines naman. <laughs> Pero yeah. at, at nabanggit na natin yung Aces and Queens. Gusto ko ito, nang kamusta yung training mo with uh, Jerry Diaz and the rest of the team sa Aces and Queens. It's super fun. I actually, before I did all the training, that w- that is one thing that I was terrified about. I said, oh my gosh, I have to go to Q&A training. Oh my gosh, what if I'm not good enough? What if this? What if that? You know, me overthinking. But it is so much fun and everybody is so nice and we have really become a family. They're so supportive and they really do everything to make us win and to make us improve. Ano yung favorite part mo ng training? They, ha- they have, di ba, parang the Q&A, the workouts, tapos ngayon yung pasarela. I would say Q&A because I see the most, as in the improvement of me being in Q&A because that was one thing that I thought I'd be struggling with and I probably did because I love to talk, but I love to explain. I love to really go into detail and you can't really do that in Q&A. You have mm. a time and you can't talk for two minutes. So I was really excited for that, but I love new learnings. I love to learn about so many things and especially all the questions that you get. I just want to feel prepared, you know. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to preparation sa Q&A, uh, how do you, parang, uh, what's the technique that you, that you learn from uh, Aces and Queens na parang, syempre sh- 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 na-apply mo rin with interviews? Well, one thing is the, we do open discussions. So we get to talk about something first, about a topic. And then afterwards, we get the question. So it is easier. We we talk about keywords. So whenever there's a topic, you already know words that you can connect to that. And that's how you go about an answer. And there are, I mean, one of the things I guess that I was struggling with is that I wanted to sound smart. I wanted to sound like I'm what... I don't know, PhD, have a PhD. <laughs> but hindi kailangan, really. You just need to be yourself. My approach was it, to say it simple, but then with an impact. Because a lot of times you hear beauty queens speak, you're like, wow, such a nice answer. But um, I didn't quite understand what she said <laughs> because it was it was covered by keywords. And I want to do the exact opposite. I want to make it simple, but people will say, wow, that she's so true, as in that is so accurate. And that is my other approach, that I don't have to sound this smart, that I can just be myself and answer it 
through my core, ex, um, my core values, my um, experiences, my narrative. And that is what's way more important is to really know yourself, to remember everything that has happened in your life so you can answer true to your core. Ayan. Authenticity talaga ang important for Q&A. Pero syempre, important din na very uh, maganda din yung delivery. Pero eto yeah. naman, next question. Gusto ko, medyo excited na ako dito kasi ang dami rin nag-aabang ng national costume and evening gown. So handa ka na ba doon just in case? Hindi ko ba, hindi ko itatanong ko muna kung sino yung designer na natin. No! Yung, ano. Pero of course, naghahanda ka na ba for those parts of the pageant? <laughs> Yes, so we have a national costume already. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. I haven't seen it in person yet. I have only seen the design, but I'll be seeing it very soon. And we have evening gowns. So for preliminary and then for the finals. And to be honest, I thought it was going to take a while until I'd find the right design, but it was so easy. I just chose colors and I had inspiration and we were able to come up with something. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see it in person. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, wala pa in person, guys, ha? Wag niyo muna ang kulitin. Wag niyo muna ang kulitin si Maureen tungkol dyan. Yun na, yung, <laughs> yun na muna yung ibibigay niya for you. At least meron na siyang Surprise. nabigay na details. Surprise! Surprise! Okay. Wag tayong, wag tayong masyado makulit mga pageant fans, okay? Ayan. So kung may questions kayo, lagay niyo lang sa ilalim. Ayan. Mga comments, lagay nyo lang dyan sa comments natin para may tanong ko yan kay Maureen. Pero ito na, syempre, hindi makakompleto ang kanyang MEPH candidacy kung wala siyang advocacy, di ba? And can you, so with that being said, can you tell us about your advocacy, Maureen? Well, I had a very easy time to find what I would advocate for, and that is breast cancer awareness. My mom passed away when, in 2009, Um, due to breast cancer awareness. She had it for eight years. And I knew that it was one thing that I wanted to um, share with other people, the importance of doing self-breast exams, breast exams, and later on mammograms. Because being a woman, that is already a risk factor. And it is so common, and a lot of women don't know about it, is it is the number one cancer in the Philippines and in the world. And the best way to protect yourself is prevention. Um, is Yeah, to, the best way to prevent is to is early detection. So you need to detect it. And that is um, when you can treat it early. And a lot of people don't know as well that That, you, that there is a cure as in you can treat it early as early as possible and that is going to prevent a serious disease. And we could have prevented with my mom. So I really want to save lives. And I don't want anyone to go through what I did is losing a mom at such a young age. And even the opposite, losing a daughter. So that is really close to my heart and the best way to protect yourself is really early detection. You mentioned nga before with your interview with Karen, parang you were 11 years old when that happened, tama ba? Yes, I was 11. It it was, I have a lot of um, advocacies. This is just one that I wanted to stick with because I could have gone with mental health awareness. I could have gone with um, self-acceptance. There are so many other advocacies that I could have gone with but this is where everything started is my mom and after that is where I was struggling with my mental health and I was struggling with so many other things afterwards so I I knew that I wanted to start with this first which is breast cancer awareness what's your favorite curious question long no what's your favorite memory with your mom we had this memory It was just before she passed away, actually, and we decided to, we, we, every summer, we either go to the Philippines or to Germany, and that year we went to Germany. And then it was so nice because we, I'm not sure if it was that time, but um, 
two of my sisters, because we're four sisters, right? So two of my sisters and my dad, they had left. And I remember my mom was like, oh, I have a surprise. And it was just my younger sister, my mom and I. And we were staying at the, the home together that we'd rented just for the vacation. And she said, oh, you can, um, you can sleep in, the, in my bed. And so we were sleeping in the same bed and we were just um, doing really simple things. We were going to church, we were taking a walk, but it was just so nice to spend that time with my mom. And it was, it was yeah, it was just my younger sister, my mom and I, and I just remember that memory of being in Germany and my mom was there and this was just a few months before she passed away. I see. And since you mentioned you have three other sisters, no? <laughs> so how was your household? How is it growing up with uh, three other sisters? magulo ba siya? Yes. <laughs> well, one thing is first, there's just one year in between. So um, we are extremely close. We know everything about each other, but it was especially when we were young. <laughs> it's it's just funny because we, you know when how girls fight and they just use their nails, they pull hair and all of that. I think that lasted until we were about 12 or something, and then we just used our words and we were swearing at each other you know how you know our hormones were all over the place and um it was especially bad when we were going through through puberty but thinking about it i miss them so much and it's so sad that you just you just grow old and everyone all of them we don't live together we all have our own places and three as in my sisters all of my sisters and even my stepbrother they all live in germany and so i'm the only one here in the philippines so i miss them so much and i hope we can reunite because i mean with COVID, they weren't able to go here they usually go here um, during christmas and new years but they weren't able to go this time ayun nakita nga natin yung mga childhood photos si maureen ganina no <laughs> ang cute in there <laughs> Pero ito, uh, did they, what was their reaction when you told them na you were joining Miss Universe Philippines? Did well, they, they were ex- you parang tips? Yeah. Well, they were very excited for me, but then one sister in particular, she told me to take care of my mental health. And I, and I see how that's so important, especially when we put ourselves out there. People are going to criticize you and that not constructively, but in a very bad way. They're going to be mean. They're going to comment on your on your look and me struggling already um, before. It, it can be hard, you know, putting yourself out there. There's a lot of disadvantages with that. But I have the support from my family members. I have the support of my, from my supporters, my, my uh, fans, but they're more of a family to me than, I don't like the word fans, to be honest. I've said this before, I don't like the word fans, but yeah. And and it's, it's really all worth it. And so that's why I don't read any comments because I don't want it to affect me in any other way. I just want to be positive and enjoy everything. Aside from having a parang support, uh, strong support group, ganyan, uh, meron ka pa bang ginagawa to keep your, uh, to keep a strong core para hindi ka affected ng mga, mga below the belt na bashers? Yes, that is what I do. I just, I just really don't read anything. And I'm not as active as I used to be. What I would do is I would read the requests and respond to a lot of people but i every time that i did there's always that one hate comment i'm like nope i'm out (laughs) so i just that's the best way to protect yourself is do not read do not watch anything and i haven't and it's helped me and i can really just focus on myself in this journey would you consider yourself na parang immune ka na to these comments or parang does it still affect you from time to time? Well, of course it affects me. I mean, we are all human beings. Things, negative things that we see about us, it, it affects us, especially if they attack 
your family, of course, you're going to react to that. But it is just important to remember that these people that do hate, they probably hate because of a lot of other things that has been happening in their life. And those are probably negative things that they just want to take out on other people. And so that's what I remember. If someone is so negative, they probably have so much hatred in their heart. And that's why they're like that. Because personally, me being the way that I am, I could never hate on anyone. And that is one of my strengths, even though I have experienced so many bad things, I just, I couldn't take that out on anyone. That is true. Ayan. Pero gusto ko naman pag-usapan siguro yung mga friendship na nabuo within your Miss Universe Philippines journey. And you mentioned nga in an interview with a vlogger, with pageant vlogger, nakalimutan ko kung sinong pageant vlogger yung na-interview. Pasensya na. Comment mo na lang kung ikaw yun, ha? Na you want kisses to be the one you, uh, na ka-hold hands mo if ever sa top two. So, kamusta yung friendship niyo with kisses? Paano ba nag-develop yung, yung relationship niyo? We had um, the same endorsement, and so we met during a Christmas party, and we had a conversation, and she's super sweet, she's super nice. Me, personally, I I don't have a lot of friends. I, I, I just keep my circle closed, and she's really busy, but I would love to work with her after this. I haven't seen her s- since, as in I saw her there during the Christmas party, and then I saw her one time during the runway challenge but we're both really busy so i hope after all this we get to work together on something that would be amazing true ayun yung nakakatuwa talaga actually makita yung interaction between the candidates in friendship na nabubuo hindi yung yung parang nagbabangaya na competition oh my gosh kayo guys walang ganun friendship tayong lahat dito yes, anyway <laughs> I do know na yung mga friends ni Maureen, I am from Prima Stella. Shout out to Prima Stella. Hi, Miss Chini. For, thank you for Hi, ano, holding this. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for, uh, doing, uh, uh, for being our bridge with Maureen for this interview. Ayan. Kasi may nag-shout out ako sa Prima Stella. Hi, hi fam. Okay, next. <laughs> So, since you mentioned bashing, other girls are also being bashed parang for not being uh, for not being the beauty queen type or for not fitting the mold. So, what's your thoughts on that? I don't like the mold. I don't like that. I mean, I don't fit that mold too. If it would come about personality and the way that I present myself. I mean, I don't fit that mold and I'm totally fine with that. So, I am, I'm glad that we are accepting this diversity of beauty because there's so much beauty in this country and we need to share that we need to let everyone know about that and we are all unique in our own ways so let us celebrate that ayan since you mentioned no parang miss universe is also parang going for more inclusivity and syempre with uh trans uh candidates also joining with Miss Payne no, 2017. And maybe, siguro, Miss USA then with uh, a candidate that Chan Pinay joining yes, the pageant. I heard about her. She's oh, Pinay as well. She's Pinay. She's re- representing Nevada, if I'm not mistaken. Si Cataluna Enriquez. Ayan. So what's your thought on thoughts on, on that? Pinahaba ko pa. <laughs> no, we should all celebrate that. We should all be more inclusive, especially in pageants. And for me, Talaga, I've said this in another interview, trans women are women, and we need to accept that. And to the people who are not comfortable with that, I know I got a lot of bashing because of that. I see that through other comments. <laughs> and that's totally fine because that is my opinion, and we need to learn to educate ourselves, but also the people around us. We need to learn how to be more inclusive. I, I mean, it's 2021. Let us l- just spread love. No negativity, please. Ayun. Ang ganda nung sinabi ni Marino. Sana nga, ano, maging open-minded na ang lahat ng mga tao. Pero sige, eto na. Dahil naka-30 minutes na tayo, meron na tayong pep challenge. Woo! <laughs> Ayan, we'll get to know Maureen in this challenge na tinatawag namin social media read. So, 
basically, hinanap ko lang yung mga photos ni Maureen sa Instagram. Umabot ako ng mga 2017-ish. Tapos pumili ako ng mga five photos. So, ikukwento sa atin ni Maureen ko ano ba yung story behind that photo. Okay, let's start. One. Shamanes! <gasps> oh my gosh. So, I... <laughs> Shaman was in the Philippines and I had to buy the VIP ticket with the meet and greet. My gosh, I think I'm blushing underneath my makeup. I'm so pink. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it was so crazy. And we um, were able to take a photo with him. And there was also Q&A after. And I'm so angry that I did not prepare questions. It only I only realized there was a question in my mind after that. And I was so sad because I... I know he was looking at me and I know that he would have, no, I, no, but you know, I, I, I had a feeling that he would have asked me to ask my question. That was just my feeling. I don't know, but I did not have a question and I'm so angry at myself until now that I did not prepare anything, but it was so, it was so nice. It was my yeah, first yeah. alone. I was, I mean, I was a little nervous about that. But, yeah, gosh, like, you went alone. Yes, I went alone. <laughs> but I met so, so many of my supporters and who are also Sean Mendes supporters. And yeah, that was, that was, you know. One for the books. <laughs> Pero ramdam ko yung happiness mo dun sa photo, no? Sobrang namumula nga yung chicks mo. <laughs> diba? And I remember. Nervous. <laughs> Oh no, ganun din naman tayo kapag ano nakikita yung guest idols natin. So what's your favorite Shawn Mendes song? Ruin. <laughs> Ruin. Yes. Yeah, um and a lot of other people know this. I am not the biggest Shawn Mendes fan anymore. Oh ah! my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hindi ako updated dun sa part na 'yon, pero okay lang 'yan. <laughs> I mean, um yeah, some things happened, and I decided True. to stay with. I decided to stay with Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige, let's go, Harry. Watermelon Harry sugar. Styles. Okay. Yes. Okay, I've been next a fan for so long. <gasps> oh, that's a really old photo. Damn, you were stalking. <laughs> that was when I did my abitua. That's when I did my abitua in Germany. And those are two of my friends. Oh, there's another one. That was fast. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, going back okay, to that there, photo. Yeah, and so um, there are two of my friends. And that was such a happy moment because before that, I did not think that I'd be able to graduate because of all the exams. They're insane. Um and they were nerve wracking. And until now, I still have bad dreams about them. I have no idea why. <laughs> but I'm so glad that was such a nice moment. The weather was playing along and my hair is so long, girl. Is I look it more like- is, is it college? Is it your no, college? Um, it's Abitu, which is 12 years high school, but it's, uh, it's different mm. as in you can't really compare it to regular high school. Um, it's compared to IB in England, England, UK, sorry, <laughs> in the whole of UK. So, okay. yes. That was but nice. given that chance, if you want to pursue uh, college, uh, what would you have uh, studied? Well, at the time, I would have studied interior design, but now I think I would go with something very general, which is business management, just because I think that would be more essential. And um, I mean, you could do anything if you have that, right? If you study that. So that is my future goal. <laughs> Business <Okay>. management. <laughs> Why not? Okay, next. No flash on nothing, Anina. Ah, I saw that one. Yeah, it's with Liza. Oh my gosh. So um, I have been a fan of Liza since I was 15. And I remember just after that, that people would tell me that we ha we look alike and i was i was like what really and so before i moved to the philippines i said oh my gosh i just wish that the first person i meet is liza sobrano and this was two weeks in i'd moved to the philippines just two weeks prior to this photo and we had a shoot together well not really together but it, this was for maybelline 
And so she had her endorsement shoot while I had some other video shoots and she was there and I really wanted a photo with her, but then I was so nervous. I had to ask someone else. I was like, can you please ask? Because <laughs> I'm nervous. You have that little fangirl moments. Talaga, and... <laughs> I, I was so big because in one photo, we're smiling with teeth and the other one, we're smiling just, you know, with the, our mouth closed. And it was the exact time. I said, oh my gosh, did she? As in, we were even twinning with our jeans jacket. I was like, oh my gosh, this was meant to be. Ayan. And you guys are now under the same uh, talent agency, yes. under Star Magic. So, so I hope you meet her again. <laughs> through or if that if if the opportunity comes are you open to working with liza in a movie of course i'd love that she is willing to work with me <laughs> that would be a no no kabog no parang twins yung rules nyo charot <laughs> i guess um i think cousin no sisters from sisters non- yeah <laughs> not super twins <laughs> You know what? I actually get people saying that I look like Enrique Hale, so that is very strange. I'm the I, if if you put Enrique Hale and Liza Sabrana together, that's me. <laughs> that's so strange, right? I got that a lot. They're like, "Oh my gosh, you look like Enrique Hale." I'm like, "What? Are you really?" <laughs> Hindi ko masyado nakikita yun, no? Pero kung pinagsama nga siguro si Enrique and Liza, ito siguro yung face, more glean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next photo. Ah, that was in London. Oh wait. Oh, that oh. was so fast. Hello. That was wrong. Yeah, one. this one. Okay, that was in London. <laughs> so part of the deal of winning Asia's Next Top Model is you get a contract with Storm Management. And I'm still with Storm um for people asking, but um that was when I was in London for, I think I was just there for two months and I was enjoying it. I was taking lots of photos, buying a lot of clothes, spending all my money, which I shouldn't have done because then I wasn't able to bring everything home. <laughs> my luggage were so full, but I was having so much fun. And this was actually my friend was there who took this photo and that is my best friend who I have met online and we have been friends for so many years and we've only seen each other four times. So our friendship mm. is just online, but she is my best friend as in she's my best friend. Well, since a lot, you've been to a lot of countries traveling Kenya. So, and that's one thing we all miss in pandemic. If ever, if given the chance, which country would you like to visit? I would like to visit Italy. I haven't been to Italy yet, but I love Italian food. I love pasta. I love pizza. I love gelato, which I worked as a gelato store waitress. So I would like to have authentic. Well, it was authentic because the the owners were Italian, but I would like to have that gelato and the view a beautiful Italy. <laughs> True dream. Pero gusto ko new yon sa akin na nagtrabaho ka pala sa ice cream ano attendant yes, ano tawag ko. Yeah, um but yeah, I worked there for two summers. So because they're only open during summertime. Well, they open around spring and they close just before fall time. And so whenever the weather was good, my boss would call me and be like, "Okay, come to work today." He was like that, you know, and then so every time it was nice, nice outside. I just wanted to enjoy the sun and go out with my friends. I had to work. <laughs> I had to work, but it was nice because then I was able to buy some things. And whenever I would be with my my friends, I could actually buy things and spend my money because um, I didn't get any from my parents. <laughs> But it's the fulfillment, no? And when you when you earn and then you, ano, yes. parang spend that on what you love. And that's how I knew how hard it was to earn money. So it was a good um, lesson. Medyo ba, medyo bagets pa si Maureen noon, pero alam niya na yung mga, namulat na siya agad on the realities <laughs> of the world. Okay, last photo. Na-flush na rin kanina. Ayan, yung yeah, we saw that. Oh my gosh, it's my 
my Twinkie girl. To be honest, I think she's my soulmate. She's just like my baby. I, I swear. I have no idea why. I feel so connected to her if I'm when I'm gone. It's just her that I miss. I, mean, I miss my other cats too. But she's so sweet and she sleeps um, just behind my pillow. And when you call her, she comes to you and she's just the sweetest girl. So yeah, don't tell my other cats, but he's my favorite. <laughs> How many cats do you have? I have four. <laughs> four and Twinkies are favorite. Sige, sige. Yeah. Secret so lang natin ko sa sabihin doon sa tatlo. Okay. Ayan, yun na. Ang tapos ng ating pep challenge. Pero syempre, kikilalani pa natin si Maureen at kanya experience with showbiz naman this time. Pero bago yun, gusto ko muna itanong, syempre, na-mention muna Maureen earlier that you had COVID-19 last year, if I'm not mistaken. Around the same time then, di ba? Or uh, October? November. I, got, I had November. it in November. So, can you tell us parang, any challenges that na encounter mo that time? Was it, how was your uh, parang uh ano mo na yeah paano ka naka move forward after well i was very lucky that i only had mild symptoms but i was still very paranoid just because of all the stories that you hear and one thing that i was scared about was that a lot of people would say that you would you would get sick and you'd feel sick then after about 10 days, you'd feel better, but then it would drastically worsen. And I was afraid of that. I, I was afraid that was going to happen. But what I made sure of was to drink a lot of vitamins, but not just supplements, but actual orange juice and a lot of fruits, because it is really important to take care of your mental, uh, mental health, I mean, uh, your health, but also your mental health because there was a lot of overthinking because of all those stories that you hear. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so glad that I got better and that I did not lose my sense of taste and smell because I would have probably freaked out. I love to cook. I love to eat. How could I? I, I wouldn't have gone through that. Um, but yeah, please take care of yourself, especially now with the new variants. If you can get yourself vaccinated, get vaccinated please but if you can't because there is enough i think my my family in pangasinan they weren't able to get vaccinated yet because there hasn't been any vaccine so please stay at home if you can't get vaccinated it's so important and boost your immune system what is also very very important is vitamin d so if you can go out in the sun for a little bit for i think 20 20 minutes a day i tried to do that as well when i was sick because, guys, we really need to take care of our health. Mm, true. Important. Tumataas ang cases ngayon. Lumalagpas na naman tayo ng 10,000, 10, guys. So, yes, take care so of yourselves. Care. Ito may nag-phone in question. How is JK supporting you daw on your Miss Universe journey? Well, he has really been supporting me ever since I started this journey of mine. And... He really, he understands me. He supports me, especially mentally, because I have all these overthinking moments and I have these moments where I'm so stressed and I just started crying. And we all have those days, right? And he's always there for me when I feel feel really bad and feel really stressed. And he reminds me why I'm doing this. And yeah, we can just communicate and talk about everything. And that is so important in a relationship. And since you guys have been together for how many years? Three na, no, I think. Our, What's your... Around that. <laughs> around that two, I mean, I forgot, I forgot our anniversary just recently. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do you guys keep uh, us strong or maintain that relationship strong? You know what really helped the relationship is when I s practice self-love. I didn't really see the importance of it before. I mean every very every single person has toxic traits right and it lessened my toxic traits i must admit because when i mean this, this is my first relationship and you know you get a lot very insecure and i was very insecure one thing to really overcome that insecurity and that it's not going to affect your relationship is self-love and i did not understand the importance of it before 
but now I understand it and it has really, really um, improved our trust and communication skills and just so many other things. And one other thing that is so important as well is communication. You have to be able to communicate about everything. He knows all my secrets. I mean, does he wait? <laughs> no. But... <laughs> all the important <laughs> ones. Yeah, as in he knows everything about me. And that is, it's so important to be able to trust, especially with your, I guess, deepest insecurities. True. Communication is the key talaga. Pero ito naman, iba ng topic na itatanong ko kay Maureen. Before the pandemic, we all saw her hosting sa Eat Bulaga. So do you miss hosting? To be honest, I did not really enjoy hosting. I was not a good host. I need, if I do start hosting again, I just need a lot of workshop. I did not have mm-hmm. any workshop. That was my workshop right there, um, hosting. And so that was kind of my, I guess, my experience in my workshop. But I need, I think, before I go on stage again, I need a one-on-one with a coach or something. <laughs> I'm not good. and That's understandable. And yeah. you were bashed then, right? Before, a because... lot. Oh my gosh, I was bashed a lot. Um, I guess a lot of um, fans were also threatened because they thought I would be paired up. I don't want to get into detail, but <laughs> yeah. it did not ever happen. And so guys, relax. Don't hate on me anymore, okay? It's the past. <laughs> Ayun. But at least, parang fun experience din siya for you. Fun learning experience din siya for you. Yeah, I learned But a you... lot. Yeah? I learned a lot in, uh, during the, um, my time there and I'm very thankful for them. Ayan. Since ito na nga, napik- nakita natin mga photos ng mga co-host ni ano, meron ka bang namimiss sa kanila? Yes, our fun bonding time. It was it's so funny just backstage waiting for your turn and talking and eating lang. It's a lot of food. <laughs> and that is, you know, that's one thing you miss is because you're this family and and then you have to leave this family. I remember I cried as well when I left, but it was just the right time to leave. I wanted to focus on my acting career. No. And that is what happened afterwards, right? <laughs> Ayan nga. Pero mamaya ako itatanong yung movie. Pero gusto ko itanong yung mga kung sa'yo relationship mo with ano, Paolo Ballesteros. Siyempre parang big, we all know na big pageant fan din si, pa, si Paolo, no? So meron ba siyang binigay sa'yo na tips or have you guys been in touch? We haven't uh, been in touch actually uh, hmm. now, but but he's really, he's really nice. I will have to talk to him soon because I saw that he was, he had a One of girls from Bini Bini, um, Bini yeah. Bina. and so he has a lot of tips for sure. And I need to message him then. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> He's very busy. Maybe he didn't see that I was joining. <laughs> Oo nga, malay natin no one of these days. Baka makita to ni Paula to message na siya. Anyway, so since you mentioned acting, ayan meron kang upcoming movie entitled "I Run Away" with Kit Thompson. So can yeah. you tell us about your movie? Or what's your character in this film? Well, the movie is a love story. My character is Hannah. There, you're showing all the photos. My character is Hannah. She's a quirky girl. She can be weird. And she goes on this adventure to New Zealand. So this movie is a 95% in New Zealand. And yeah, she goes on this adventure and has this bucket list of things but one of the things that uh, is not on the bucket bucket list is to find love which she did she finds love um and she falls in love with ben that is kit thompson ayan oh diba so how much is kit as a leading man um just kidding <laughs> 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 no, um, it was he taught me a lot of things because it was my very, very first time. I'd never been on set before. And so he was explaining a lot of things and he lessened, I guess, the nerves because I was nervous. Um, but yeah, he was just supporting 
And I'm grateful for that. I do, I, we didn't have a lot of sleep. So there were a lot of times, he doesn't want to admit this, but we a lot of times where we did clash <laughs> because our personalities are strong. And I'm just this person that wants to help, even though I have like no idea about acting. Um, but yeah, we didn't have a lot of sleep. So I understand that. But yeah, it was a very fun experience. And we were in New Zealand. That is Kit Thompson's um as in his dad is from New Zealand hmm. and his parents were actually there. It was so sweet. His parents were there the, during the whole shoot. Um, just visiting and watching and I own, it was, it was so much fun. Malapit na natin tumapanood guys in a few weeks. Oh, it's next pa. week. In a few days na lang pala. Kung di nyo pa napanood yung trailer, it's on YouTube. Find it, run away yung title. Bye. Directed by Katsuki Flores. Yes. Um. Wait. So yeah, it's one week, and two days. Uh, oh, oh, na pala. oh my gosh. So what's your favorite place in New Zealand? Yeah. Queenstown. We shot most of the things there. Oh my gosh. They also have really good burgers. <laughs> Uh, what was the name of the burger? I have totally forgotten. But, <laughs> oh my gosh, the scenery. Oh, it's beautiful. It does not look real. As in, when you're there, it all looks like a painting. It's incredible. It's so nice. It's beautiful, you, really. Queenstown, go to Queenstown. Did you undergo or parang nag workshop ka before filming this movie? We had... Um, just for the movie it was kind of two days so mm. the one day what it was we weren't really practicing lines it was more on emotions and um what is the name of the workshop you know when you have to be because kit we and i would we've never spoken before this right so we had to be in love during this shoot mm. so we had this um What's the name of that? Sen sensual? No, it's not sensual. Something workshop. like that. Something like that. Where you, like you know, chemistry you workshop, something like that. Chemistry workshop, something like that. I forgot the name, but that's what we did. So it wasn't really an acting workshop the way that I did afterwards with the Ryan. This one was really on getting to know each other. Oh, okay. Speaking of Derek Ryan, syempre since you joined Star Magic, kamusta naman yung pagiging, ano mo, pagiging kapamilya as a Star Magic talent? Well, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. I have been wanting to act for, for so long, even before my modeling journey and my modeling dream. And so I'm just grateful for the opportunity and I can't wait to work with them after after all this, this journey, because of course I want to go back to acting as well. It is one of my passions and we had an acting workshop with Dirk Ryan. And when I shot the movie and when I did the acting workshop, I just realized how exciting it is and can be. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so, so, I feel so blessed and honored to be with Star Magic. Among the talents ng Star Magic, sino yung mga gusto mong makatrabaho din? Well, si Liza. Aside from Liza, <laughs> of course. Catherine Bernardo. Mm -hmm. I have been, oh my gosh, I watched her going bulilit <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was our favorite show as children, going bulilit, going bulilit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, yeah, and so Catherine Bern, I haven't known her ever, ever since. <laughs> So, Why not, no? May chance na rin yeah. at since Star Magic kayo. Aabangan ko yung ABS-CBN ball kapag si Maureen na yung nandun, for sure. <laughs> Sana, we, bumalik na tayo sa normal at magkaroon ng ABS-CBN yeah, so, ball ulit. No? Let's be patient, ha, guys? So we can all go back to our normal lives. True. Ayan. Ito medyo about goal setting naman. How do you see yourself in five years? I see myself as a winner. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but I just I want to do so so much and I also see myself acting again I am actually planning on my uh, own foundation I'm still working on it 
but that is really one thing i want to help this the philippines that is one thing that i promised myself and i don't break promises <laughs> i really don't i i just really want to help where i can and that has always been my purpose and a, the thing about purpose is it doesn't just improve your life but it improves the lives of other you know of other people around you to you know improve their life and to leave an impact so that is just one thing that i would really like to achieve in the next five years that's a lot of goals and after all that i also want to um go to college <laughs> to university i want to go to germany to be honest i want to go to university in germany so i need to do all this so i can move back to germany and then i'll come back to the philippines again and then back and forth <laughs> Why not? Uh, no, kaya naman yan. If there's a will, there's a way, sabi nga nila. Yes. Diba? <laughs> Pero ito na, last part na ng ating interview with Maureen. Siyempre, meron pa tayong isa pang pep challenge. <laughs> Ayan, itong pep challenge naman na to. Siyempre, lahat ang beauty queen naman dito, pinapasalang natin sa Q&A challenge. But you do not time me. <laughs> So, itong Q&A challenge na to, we will ask Maureen questions from the Miss Universe 2020 pageant. Actually, wala naman tayong time, ano, time limit dito. Yes, no? don't. Okay. So, can I, so I can elaborate because my, yes. I just want to explain my opinions. True. <laughs> hindi tayo, hindi uso ang time limit sa, sa live stream, guys. Hindi pa ito competition. So, mga sample-sample lang to, guys. Ayan. So, first question natin for Maureen. Should countries lock down due to COVID-19 despite the strain on their economies or should they open their borders and risk a potential increase in infection rates? Haba ng question. Ano? Parang nahirapan din ako. <laughs> You're having a hard time reading it. Well, for me, you should lock down and keep your people safe. You really need to take care of your people, prioritize um, their health, And I mean, uh, there has been a lot of studies that those countries who did the lockdown also had and um, were able to recover their economy faster. And that's why I would do the lockdown, because without people, there is no economy. So lockdown before the economy. Thank you so much. Okay, kabog. Question number two. So may pa quiz bit tayo dito. Women are still considered incapable of becoming world leaders. Convince these countries that they are wrong. Uh, one thing I'm going to say is during the pandemic, we have seen that women leaders have been striving in Germany, in New Zealand. Those countries have been doing so well. And you know why? Because the leader is a woman. Okay, women are more compassionate. They really prioritize their people they listen to what their people need because there are they have this mother instinct and that is what we need also in the philippines okay i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much okay ang galing third question ang bilis na kotak ni Maureen, no? parang sunod-sunod yung questions natin pero meron siyang naiisip agad Then na, ito na. The night she won Miss Universe, Zosie Tunzi explained the importance of teaching leadership leadership to young girls. How would you do that as Miss Universe? Kasi nagbabakal ako, girl. <laughs> well, as Miss Universe, you will have this platform where people will listen to you. They will want to know what you um, what you believe in. And that is really important to teach, especially young girls, leadership. I mean, I, I wish I was taught leadership when I was young. This is one thing that I had to learn on my own if we taught it to children, that they can be leaders uh, in their own way, leaders of their life, leaders in their workspace space that would really improve their lives drastically and you know as empowered women we need to empower other women and that is all about you know being a phenomenal woman being an empowered woman is to really bring out that self um worth in other girls especially start them young to really embrace who they are and to let them believe in themselves and let them believe that they can they too can be leaders of the world if they want to you know hashtag women leaders 
Yes. Okay. Question number four. Wala tayong ano, time limit, no? Pero ang galing ni Maureen. Ito, if you were the leader of your country, how would you have handled the COVID-19 pandemic? So one thing that I would have done is I would have done the lockdown because that is really important for the safety of your people, of your citizens, and to also teach them about discipline, about the importance of staying home and following um, the safe protocols. And the faster that you learn how to be disciplined and to stay at home, the faster we will get to having our normal lives back. I mean, one thing, this is not that, but one thing as a leader is you need to let other leaders of other countries know when you need help. We really need to work with each other. And that is one thing that I believe was lacking is that I guess in there, you know, you need to really let other people know and we need to work together to eradicate this virus. Ayun. Okay, last question natin for Maureen. What would you say to women watching tonight who are currently experiencing sexual and do- or domestic abuse? This is really hard, but I would just say that you are so, so strong and I hope that you get out of that relationship of yours and that you are so strong and you should be able to choose you and choose your safety and you know your your life and you should not be silenced and let no one tell you otherwise i have someone very close to me who has experienced this abuse and it has really broken her and she has come out so much stronger and now she's inspiring so many people who have gone through the same thing and who are still going through that but just know that you are so extremely strong and that you were loved and worth it ayan oh my gosh <laughs> ibibigay ko na tong crown <laughs> ibibigay well, ko na tong crown <laughs> <laughs> Ready ako sa crown. Bibigay ko na kay Maureen. Ayan na. <laughs> I don't have a crown here, but thank you. <laughs> okay, kabog ang Q&A ni Maureen, guys. Thank you so much, Maureen, for joining us tonight. Unfortunately, guys, dito na nagtatapos na nating interview with Maureen. Pero syempre, I'm giving the floor to you, Maureen, to invite our viewers to vote for you and follow your social media accounts. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you to everyone who watched this live, this interview. I had so much fun. So please, please support me in my journey, Miss my Miss Universe Philippines journey. And thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting. I see you and I appreciate your love. I appreciate your kind messages. So thank you. Thank you so much. And guys, this is, it's ours. That is my new motto. It's ours. <laughs> Ayan. Hashtag. Ano ba yung mga hashtag ni ano, Maureen? Marina, and there's Manifest, I... and there is um, Asia's Next Top Universe, and there are a lot of hashtags. Asia's Next Top. Ang dami niyang hashtags, guys. Follow niyo lang yun. And also, yung kanyang Instagram account, at maurob, that's at M-A-U-W-R-O-B on Instagram. Kung gusto niya pang i-follow ang kanyang Miss Universe Philippines Journey. Kami naman dito sa PEP. Meron kami syempre for daily updates. Ganyan. Punta lang kayo ng pep.ph. Follow na din ang Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok naman at PEP Alerts. Subscribe then to our YouTube channel, PEP TV na yung hahanapin nyo dyan. Join us on our Viber Kumo and Kalamansi. Join us then dyan sa Viber Kumo and Kalamansi. PEP.ph naman dyan. Ako din, meron akong social media accounts, Mr. Nico Twazon on Twitter and Instagram. Ay, ayan, meron, meron pa lang pa flash, ano? Oh, Mr. Nico wow. Twazon on Twitter and Instagram. Kung gusto nyo akong i-follow. Pero syempre, thank you so much for Maureen. Ayan, this has been Pep Live Extra. Bye! Bye! Thank you, everyone!